book I'm using is size 10 B110 and the thread is UTC 70 white. I'm going to start just about from there go halfway and then come back up again take this waste piece off and this point I'm going to add some wax on the thread and the next step is I'm going to add this polypropylene yarn for the post it's a white color you can use different colors entirely up to you so I'm going to double that up and just create a little loop actually and then catch it in fact just to leave a little longer so have a few turn to scale this and then just go in the front to bring it up to 90 degree and then touch and turn towards the bend take this piece off just unwind the thread touch and turn again just go all the way down and just about here I'm going to tilt this twice so I can get my hand underneath now I'm going to open the thread again and add some wax on it just a decent amount of wax now the next material I'm using is a cream color seals fur which is just a white and cream color this is a mature one so um, it's not very easy to dub so what I'll do is just to kind of split this thread and then catch it in the middle be easier to dub now just put a tiny bit and slowly slowly just it's better now kind of come bring it back up make sure you give a nice shape to the body and that's better okay few more turn open your thread now add some wax on the thread make sure you unwind your thread because otherwise it will snub just gonna go in the front and then I'm gonna finish with this thread just now and the next step would be is to just to give it a little trim onto the body so <clears throat> So this is kind of trimming is done and the next thread I'm using is uni sorry this one is just a thick thread uh, 6 o actually you can use a I'm using it for because I'm gonna catch some fiber into this so if you just kind of go behind a post take this piece off make sure it's all secure come back up again and then add some wax on the thread and I'm going to use a little bit black dubbing just around this area and then come back up again now uh, add more thread on, uh, sorry wax on the thread decent amount and now what you have to do is just go around the post 
and build up a just a decent platform decent size of platform so we can add our next material which is I'm gonna show you now sorry this came off <laughs> If you just grab and go around, just grab and go around, grab and go around, and then keep going, come back down, and then that's better. I'm just going to alter this hook now. Open the thread again. Here you need to put some decent amount of wax on it because the huckle actually I'm not using huckle on it I'm using this deer hair it's quite a lot of deer hair here so it's going to be nice and decent size of you know huckle this is a merging pattern so it just float quite a long time so again same method just split this thread gently and then take your time with this thing cut your deer hair make sure you don't lose it and then spin it very carefully take your time if you have a decent dubbing spinner then it's fine but I'm using my hand and you can see this hole. is a nice dubbing loop thing is created so I'm gonna start from this top end and gently make my way like I said it's very it becomes very very delicate when you put too much loops on this just keep bringing it around and then just kind of whip finish here view turn and just a couple more If you want to add some varnish on the end, it's entirely up to you. But now, if you pull it forward and make sure you grab all this, as you can see, it looks quite good now. And then just get this post cut and then just press it down a little as you can see so there we have a mayfly emerger for a disturbing water like heavy ripples and all this it works really well and also it works in normal condition as well but I uh, hope you enjoy this video and thank you very much for watching